Okay, as promised, um, again, if you send questions, I'm going to try to answer them with the uh, video. So, Amanda sent a question in regards to spiral staircases. So, I'll quickly uh, just continue on with the other staircase that I did earlier this week um, by showing you guys how to quickly create a spiral staircase. Um, again, I got first and second floor, second levels here. Um, a little plan. So, just like everything else, I always start off from the home tab, I always create a, a sketch model first. So I go grab a circle. I'm going to just do two real quick. So I make one circle uh, three feet. And then I do another one that's uh, four feet. Just that you can see because it's really about the landings with the uh, spiral staircases and stuff. Sometimes you can make them just go all the way three floors and you can't get off. But more than likely, if you're a good designer, you want somebody to exit at each floor and then you can continue to the next floor but you have the option to exit at a, at a floor so um, the landings with the spiral staircases to me is, is one of the most important things um, again I'll continue with uh, I'm just making some tangent lines same thing for the four foot circle two places where I can start this staircase. So I'm going to go to stair. Um, I'm on the run. If I go boundaries, I get circles. Don't get confused with that. Risers, you get circles. Don't get confused with that. Go back to run and choose the arc, uh, center and arc tool. So we got that center and arc tool. Uh, I'm basically going to come out, snap over right to the center. Grab that there. Carry my run. You can see the number of risers saying remaining 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just go ahead and do that. Sometimes this error message will pop up for this last line, but it's okay. Um, so there I have one spiral staircase. I can hit the uh, check button, and there's my stair. Come down to 3D mode, and um, I can see the stair. The floor is closed up at this point. But if I look, there's a staircase going up. All right, I go back to that floor. We have a little opening here uh, for a person to get off, which is not too big. I don't even know if there's a meat code, but <laughs> in a residential situation, it will, but not so much in a commercial situation. So let's deal with the, uh, the four foot stair. Let's move this over a little bit. Just move. Right over there. Come out of there and again back to the stair. Just like before, I'm on the run, arc center, right click to get my snap override, go down to center. Uh, just touch the circle, I get the center, I can start at this point. Mm, basically, there to go around because it's so much space left for the landing that it's going to snap to either whichever option you have from the two choices. But I have a bigger landing here and then you can do a different type of staircase if you want to specifically stop these in the same place. But this is based on my floor to ceiling height. Um, let's see if we can go to a elevation. Maybe not. But yeah, so based on the floor to ceiling height of a 10 foot, that stair is stopping um, at that point to say that we're at the top of this floor. So, so you have to be careful about your floor to ceiling heights and where you want these landings to land. Okay, so back there, uh, what we're going to do is we want to continue. Let's check that off. That's what we got. <coughs> Save that stair. So again, if I go back to the north elevation. I zoom in, that's the first stair. Here's the tighter spiral, and then here's the more open curvilinear spiral. Uh, if I go to the 3D view, you can see it a little better. Uh, this is the one that I did first, the three foot, and this is the four foot, which is a, a more larger curve, circular curve. Okay. Uh, so now to get this to go up to another floor like to this floor up here, we have to create a third floor. So I go back to the elevation. 
All third floor is in here already. So I want to go up to the top up there. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is come back to this floor and just copy both of these things because we want to deal with the landing. If we weren't dealing with a landing situation, then it'll be a little different. But because we want to exit at each floor and then continue our run up, we can basically just copy these things. So I copy and then I go to paste. And I can go align to current view if I was on the second level, but I'm not. So I just say uh, align to a selected level. And then I can choose the level that I want to go to. So I say second floor. And now it's copying that, both of these staircases up to the second floor. I get the same one for that line sketch, which is okay for this situation. Then if I go to the second floor, I can see my stairs are there now. And I can um, turn on the... Uh, Shaded view to see if I can see this stuff. So I have partial <clears throat> part of this stuff is closed up because the floor is not open. I go back to the wireframe. Let's go to 3D so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so here's a staircase. It looks funny, but there's a landing. You get off and you continue up. You get off and you continue going up. Um, so in certain situations, you would want to close off this little area right here with a rail and continue to let somebody off or they can go up but you don't want them to fall over here now we have to open up these floors so that you know people can actually use this stuff and come up through the staircase um, so let's go ahead and do that go back to the second floor uh, we select the wall tab until we get the floor that's the floor select that Revit basically says, hey, what do you want me to do with this floor? We edit the boundaries, come to our circle, grab that, and just make another circle to cut out. Uh, same thing with this one, circle, another circle to cut out. I can stop it here, but I'm just going to show you what happens because you have to do a little more with the spiral staircases. So if I go back to my 3D, you'll see that it, it opened up the entire thing. So the purpose of these openings is to let people up, but not to fall off back into the same hole. So you can see this person can fall right back into that hole. This person can fall into the hole over here. Um, so you want to be a little careful with these, uh, these openings. All right, you don't want him to get off and fall straight down through the hole. So what we're going to do in this situation is going to go back to that second floor and finish the uh, editing the, uh, these uh, openings even more. So I just basically make another line to the inside of the uh, circle stair, same thing here, another one there, and then what I have to do is I have to cut these things off to add a start and stop point, so I just basically draw a line from there to there, and, um, another line from here to here, and over here we just do the same thing. There. So where to start and stop with the run is at. And, uh, try to snap a little closer to there. Then we want to come and break this because we want this to be the floor. So we break that one, break that one, break that one, break that one. Come over here, do the same thing, break it there, break it there, break it there, break it there. All right, and then we can hit modify to get out of that mode, and then we can come and see if they're broke. So if they're broke, we can delete, delete. So now all of this is our floor <laughs> all around. The stuff inside the magenta color is the actual opening. So this is floor up through here. This is floor up through there. We go ahead and hit check to say okay to that. Then we go back to our 3D view. 
and you can see what I'm talking about now. We have uh, a little more floor. Person gets off, and they can keep walking, or they can choose to go up to the next flight. Same thing right here. Look like we got a little problem here. So let's see. That's a, a situation where if you're getting off, you got this little. This little extra lip on the staircase, which is not supposed to be there, so it's probably just a little setting. You would trip and kill yourself right there. So that's basically if I select the staircase. I guess I had a setting for a 10-inch offset. Just change that to zero, and then I knock him off and make that floor stop right where it's supposed to be. So let's do that to all of them. I must have had that set somewhere. Same thing. I'll just correct it for all of them. And the last one. That's that one. Okay, that one. Now you get off. You can land and keep going up to the next floor. All right. So that's pretty much it for our staircase. So you can see, I can come up the stairs, land, go to whatever function in space, continue up to the next floor, so forth and so on. You just repeat this floor for the, the third floor if you want to. And that's pretty much it for our um, staircase. Um, yep, so that's it. You got one here with a smaller opening and landing, and this is a bigger one. So that's pretty much it. If you got any other questions, Feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Uh, good luck with everything going into your last two weeks of school. Finals coming up. You guys have a great weekend. Bye.